Hi guys, today I want to talk about something else that was added in uh, game update 47 that um, I've only just had a chance to try out uh, today. Uh, so I'll do it from scratch so you can see uh, how to set this up and where to find it. It's uh, basically it's about it's for combat, um, combat uh, power and healing. Like so, you can see what um, see how well you do over a certain period of time. Uh, so it's this thing up here, um, combat uh, par parser interval, and you have some options there. You have um, after combat, one second, uh, ten seconds, thirty seconds, sixty seconds. So if you have it after combat, once you've defeated the uh, enemies that you started, that you've you've started attacking, um, it will give you a summary of what like your damage over that kind of period. So it could be anything like from two seconds or seven or eight seconds or whatever. Um, so it'll give you like the total for them for that kind of time. Um, then for the second ones, uh, like the one second, ten seconds, thirty seconds, sixty seconds, it's um, a summary of that, that over that time. So if you're only attacking enemies, say if you choose ten seconds, you're only attacking them for two seconds, it will still give you the breakdown of what it is over the whole ten seconds. So these ones are probably better for, um, I don't know, I haven't really tested them out too much yet, but I'd probably say these ones are better for if you want to test it on um, on the um, sparring targets in uh, the Watchtowers, uh, Hall of uh, the Hall of Doom or the um, the League Halls and that. Uh, that would probably be the, the sort of thing that you might want to use uh, to see how much damage you can do over a certain period of time because you have like you, if you do 30 seconds you could just do damage for the whole 30 seconds without stopping uh, it's a bit hard to do that uh, with just uh, single enemies even bosses because you don't know how long um, it's gonna happen for and it's a bit hard to tell because you're not gonna probably be attacking the whole the whole uh, period of time unless you're probably doing the one or ten seconds but I've, I've set it up to just after combat that's the um, that's the default one that it's on and then you need to set up a tab uh, for your for your chat box thing that's in the uh, bottom left hand corner there. So you need to go over to uh, chat options and add a new tab unless you want to add it into an existing tab. But I'd say it's probably better to have its own one. So I'm just going to call it uh, DPS because I'm only going to be trying this out on um, for DPS anyway. But you can do more. It's more options. Um, so we want to press square to add that so there should be a tab there now that says DPS so what you want to do is go into edit so you press square again um, and then you can switch these things off but they'll probably switch back on anyway like the message of the day and the um, broadcast thing anyway um, and then what you want to do is you want to come down towards the bottom here and there's damage summary healing summary and power summary so these are the three different ones that you can have um, so you know if you're healer you can test uh, how much healing you're doing over a certain period of time or um, on that last enemy that you just you just fought um, same with the power so you can see um, when if you're in a, an alert or something and uh, uh, the four of you start attacking um, some targets and uh, say you're attacking for about five seconds once you've finished uh, defeating them enemies and you're out of combat, it will tell you how much power you gave uh, during that, that sort of like that um, that uh, period of time that you was attacking those those enemies. Uh, so it'd be good to to see how much power you you've been given out and, and that. Uh, but we're just going to do it for DPS today. Um, so anyway, that's where the options are. They're at the bottom. Uh, damage summary, healing summary, power summary. So once you've done that, press square and just if you want to go back in just to check to see if it's done see the broadcast one coming back on and the message of the day ones but damage summary is there uh, so that's all done so that's set up now so you can come out of there and we can go across to um, the the tab which is there which is the uh, DPS one uh, so let's just so we're in that uh, so let's just test it out on some enemies um, on this outside bit first of all uh, so you can see uh, what I mean so it should pop up now we just defeated that enemy and it should pop up any second there you go so it says that the damage was over a period of 2.3 seconds and it was 3000 and uh, 10 per second uh, the total is 7989 and um, there were six hits 
and 3,998 max. Uh, and there was one, one crit, I think. I think that's what that means. With the minus, then there's the one uh, inside bracket, 16.7% crit and one target so that sounds about right that it would be about 16 percent or something over um the one target and stuff so you can see um how many targets you're hitting there so it'd be good for like when you when you're using it on the uh, sparring targets you'll see that it will say something like um uh for, for the ones in the league hall there's like 16 of them uh, sorry eight of them in a group um so it will say eight targets there so you can see how much damage you're kind of doing um, to a group or just a single target. So single tar uh, sparring targets probably be good for seeing how much damage you'd be roughly doing to maybe like boss bosses and uh, the eights and stuff. Maybe for like uh, groups of you know enemies that you you're doing in hallways and, and stuff like that. So let's uh, let's see how much damage we did there. I think we did like three three targets in that um, in that one. Um, so yeah, it tells you that you've defeated four targets within that period of time of 13.9 seconds, and gives you again the same thing: uh, 4,686 uh, damage per second. It's worked it out, and um, <coughs> uh, 42 hits, and. 13 crits so that's 13 out of the 42 hits were were crits and the rest weren't so it tells you the percentage of of your hits that end up being uh, critical attacks and in the um in the uh, hits it's got max uh, 8476 i'm not sure if that might be the max amount of damage you did per hit like uh, the biggest hit that you did um, like I said I've only really been messing about with it today um, so I thought I'd share with you um, you know how to set it up and everything and, and where to find it uh, it seems pretty easy to uh, to use like I say you can this is after combat so once you've defeated enemies it will give you a uh, breakdown of those of those enemies uh, but you can obviously set this up to one um, 110 and 30 and was it 60? Uh, 110, 30 and 60 seconds. So it might not be great for for doing like what we're doing here, but um, you know for things like um, sparring targets and that where you want to test how much damage you're doing over a certain period of time and to to maximise your uh, loadouts and that, then. Um, you can you can set it up to do that like 10 seconds probably 10 seconds is probably a good one to, to maybe do because um, most sets of enemies probably don't last in much longer than 10 seconds anyway uh, f 60 seconds might be a bit too long um, probably f 60 seconds it may be when you want to test it on a single target to see how much damage you'll probably be doing to a boss over a certain period of time and maybe f 10 to 30 seconds probably for groups of enemies because I don't think any enemies groups of enemies really take any longer than 30 seconds definitely not 60 seconds anyway um, so let's do one more what I want to do actually is I, I want to kind of do it with a, a bigger group of, um, of enemies so we can uh, test that out so we have a bit more than um, A bit more than just the uh, the four or the six. So let's see if we can um, group these up a little bit here. I think as long as you stay in uh, combat, then the uh, the seconds won't stop until um, you're out of combat. So as long as you're in combat, you're you're going to be. Um, these things will still be uh, calculating. So see there, uh, we defeated six enemies. Uh, let's make that a bit bigger. Uh, we defeated uh, six enemies and it took 17.9 seconds. Uh, the DPS uh, was 3,632 per second and the total damage we did was 64,987. Uh, we did 49 hits and 13 of them were crits again. Uh, 
So it's good for seeing how, how much like critical uh, damage you're doing. So it might be good to test uh, the, the SP, uh, the skill points that you get um, for, you know, the critical damage and, and things like that. Just to, just to see how much that actually affects like the chances and stuff. Um, obviously as well you've got that, um, uh, let me show you, in the um, under powers, under iconic powers you've got these two here which is 3% uh, critical attack chance and 10% critical attack damage. So those probably will be taken into consideration for those crits and stuff there. So, um, so that's it, yeah. Just wanted to share that with you and uh, let you know how to set that up. So obviously you can find all these things in the uh, settings. You can't, um, they've not set up already. So um, you need to go into these and set them up. The um, the combat passer um, interval thing is set to, to combat after combat automatically. But you need to set up the uh, tab. So either um, edit an existing one or you need to uh, start up a new one. So all you have to do is come to this and add new tab, call it something, press square to add it and then uh, go back into it by highlighting it like that, pressing square and going to the bottom and it's the bottom options there. So if you want to do damage summary, uh, healing summary or power summary or if you want all three on, you could do that. Uh, maybe let's, let's just try that out real quick just so you can uh, see what those look like. Um, it might be a good idea if you are going to set all three because the uh, colour is set to like that yellow colour. Um, if you're going to have all three probably on you might want to um, change the uh, the colours so that you can see better. So let's just do weapon attacks here. Or actually maybe we should use some power attacks as well. Because we can actually judge the power coming back in because... Um, if that um, AM thing activated, your uh, power gets uh, comes back if you use it with certain powers. Uh, the healing we won't be able to see on that bit, but okay. So, so there, it, it's it's um, labelled at the beginning anyway under damage, healing, or power, as you can see there. So. Healing, nothing really, um, because we're in DPS anyway. Uh, but we seem to have got some sort of healing back anyway. Um, and power, which would have come from the um, from Electric's AM um, loadout that I'm using, where you use the certain powers and you uh, gain power back if you use them in succession. Um, so yes, yeah, so as you can see there, that gives you a nice breakdown and you can change that up so this would be very interesting and uh, for people who like to uh, try out different loadouts and stuff to see um, what loadouts actually are better now um, so that's it guys thanks for for watching and hope this helps bye